Input is any data or instructions entered into the memory of a computer. Of the four activities in the information processing cycle, input, process, output, and storage, input is the activity to which computer users are most closely linked and on which each subsequent activity depends. Input is any data or instructions entered into the memory of a computer. An input device is any hardware component that allows users to enter data and instructions. Two of the more widely used input devices are the keyboard and the mouse. A pointing device allows a user to control a pointer on the screen. One type of pointing device is the mouse. Keyboards are used primarily to enter alphanumeric data. The traditional keyboard was devised in 1867 by Christopher Scholes, the inventor of the first practical commercial typewriter. Today's computer keyboards include a typing area, numeric keypad, and function keys. Ergonomic keyboards, as illustrated on this screen, do a better job of ensuring that the wrist remain in the ideal neutral position and are designed to minimize workplace injuries such as carpal tunnel syndrome, a repetitive stress injury. Mobile devices have keyboards that are typically small and or have fewer keys. The mouse was created by Douglas Engelbart in 1965. The mouse is the most popular pointing device on desktop computers because it is easy to use. Since its introduction in 1965, the mouse has gone through several transformations. Another pointing device is the trackball. A trackball requires frequent cleaning because it picks up oils from fingers and dust from the environment. Because it is stationary, however, it is a good alternative when desk space is limited. A trackball often works better than a mouse for people with shoulder pain because it takes less overall movement to use. A touchpad is a small, flat, rectangular pointing device sensitive to pressure and motion. Touchpads are probably the most popular pointing device used with portable computers. Touchpads are sensitive to pressure and motion. However, some people feel it is the most difficult pointing device to use. A pointing stick is a pointing device shaped like the eraser head uh, positioned between the keys on a keyboard. Like touchpads, pointing sticks often are used on portable computers. Some notebook computers include both a pointing stick and a touchpad. A touch screen is a touch sensitive display device. Users interact with these devices by touching areas of the screen. Touch sensitive pads on a portable media player enable users to scroll through and play music view pictures, watch videos or movies, adjust volume, and customize settings. A digital pen looks like a ballpoint pen but uses pressure to write text and draw lines. Game controllers are used as input devices for video and computer games. A digital camera allows a user to take pictures and store the images digitally. Digital camera images can be stored, reviewed, and edited. Digital camera images can easily be transferred to a computer and posted on the web. 
Voice input is the process of entering input by speaking into a microphone. Voice input is part of a larger category of input called audio input that includes speech, music, and sound effects. Voice recognition is the computer's capability of distinguishing spoken words. A webcam, also known as a PC video camera, is a digital video camera that is used for video input. Scanners read printed text and graphics and then translates the results into a form the computer can process. By using a scanner, data is captured directly from the source document. Scanners can increase input accuracy and efficiency. Optical Character Recognition, OCR, involves reading typewritten, computer printed, or hand printed characters from ordinary documents and translating the images into a form the computer can process. Many companies use OCR in turnaround documents a document you return to the company that creates and sends it as illustrated in the consumer bill shown on this screen. Manufacturers print a barcode either on a product's package or on a label that is affixed to a product. The barcode represents data that identifies the manufacturer and the item. RFID technology uses radio signals to communicate with a tag placed in or attached to an object, an animal, or a person. An RFID reader reads information on the tag via radio waves. Uses of RFID include tracking times of runners in a marathon, tracking airline baggage or inventory, checking lift tickets of skiers, checking out library books, and tracking payment as vehicles pass through booths on tollway systems. The magnetic stripes on the back of cards contain information identifying the card user and other related information. Magnetic ink character recognition devices read text printed with magnetized ink. The banking industry almost exclusively uses MICR for check processing. Biometrics is the technology of authenticating a person's identity by verifying personal characteristics such as fingerprints, hand geometry, facial features, voice, signatures, and eye patterns. The most widely used biometric device is a fingerprint reader. A fingerprint reader and iris recognition system are shown on this screen. You have probably seen point-of-sale terminals in your own shopping experiences. Most retail stores use a point-of-sale terminal to record purchases, process credit or debit cards, and update inventory. An ATM is a self-service banking machine, while a DVD kiosk is a self-service DVD rental machine, such as Redbox. These are all examples of a terminal that allows users to send data to and or receive information from a host computer.